The families of those killed in the Clutha helicopter crash have waited almost two years for the air accident investigation to be completed, but say it leaves a crucial unanswered question. All three people on board, the pilot and two police officers, were killed. Seven customers who were in the Clutha bar died. Among them, 44-year-old Marco Prey. His father has seen the AAIB report due to be published tomorrow. He told me it reveals that the fuel supply switches were in the off position, but that investigators don't know why. They, they honestly do not know why they're off. That was, he said, we'll never know. That was his final words. We'll never know why they went off. So you, you'll never get the answers you need? No, no. That's something we're going to have to live with for the rest of our life. There's absolutely no, we can't fill in, in the pieces. The AIB, they, they can't fill in the pieces either. Families of the ten victims want helicopters, like passenger aircraft, to be fitted with cockpit recorders, black boxes. Experts say if there'd been one on board, this investigation could have been very different. The human factors that could have affected this or whether or not the crew knew something was wrong to do with the fuel supply again can't be analysed because we haven't been able to hear anything from a black box. Having lost their son and with answers still missing, Mark's family must find their own way to cope. I just think, what would Mark want for us? And he'd want us to be happy. I know that. The Clutha has now reopened, rebuilt with the bar area moved so that no one drinks where people died. On the new wall, blackboards salvaged from the wreckage still show the band list from that busy Friday night almost two years ago. A memory of the moment when so much changed.